Join me, everyone. Let's catch the wave on Arirang Radio. Yes, everyone, catch the wave, Arirang Radio. We're here every single day. We have some energy and we have some Korean expressions lined up. We have our fantastic teacher, Hyunwoo Sanseng-nim in the studio. Hello, hello, everybody. Uh, I'm back. Yes, 안녕하세요, Hyunwoo Sanseng-nim. 안녕하세요. How are you? I'm good. Uh, I wasn't here last week uh, yeah. because of the Chuseok. Chuseok holidays. I was in my hometown visiting my parents. Yeah. Did and you have a good time? Of course, as usual. Did and you make songpyeon? No, I ate some. <laughs> <laughs> my mom made some. You know, I actually made uh, songpyeon. Uh, really? And was it edible? Uh, yeah, it was. <laughs> I mean, I didn't make the whole, you know, uh, the dough and everything. I just made the you shaped it. Yeah, I shaped. <laughs> I shaped the rice cakes basically. So it. it doesn't really matter how you shape it it's gonna it's gonna taste the same exactly i mean <laughs> <laughs> it's all almost prepared and that's right you just have to steam it yeah um so now we're back and it's great to have you here we're going to be teaching uh, our listeners uh, and our viewers some expressions we'll also be listening to some of their audio clips in the second hour and of course if you have any questions for Hyunwoo Sun Seng Nim please send them to us because in the second hour we will uh, answer some of your curiosities that's right mm-hmm. we will do our best to answer all the questions that we have today that's right so we will uh, go straight into it right now everyone we have two expressions the first one is all right, let's do the first one. That yep. is uh, nakida. Nakida. Yeah, I'll read it slowly one yep. last time. Nakida. 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 So what does that mean, nakida? <laughs> so this is in the sounds uh, funny actually. Yeah, nakida. passive voice nakida to be uh, done something, and the uh, actual original verb is nakda. Nakta. Nakta. So. Nakta. <laughs> I don't understand the drawing. Uh, you, I, you, I, you, you drew a guy holding on a newspaper and yes. then another guy fishing. Yes. So the newspaper came from the guy who's holding to the fishing rod. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, uh, do you sometimes go fishing? Yeah, I've been fishing. So before. when you go fishing, you just talk to the fish and they just come into your net, right? Do they? Uh, <laughs> no. I wish it worked like that. Yeah, you have to throw a bait. Yeah, you throw a bait and then the, you attract Exactly, the and you have to make the fish believe that this is some natural food mm-hmm. that's just floating in the you know water and they just want to grab that food. And you then all of a sudden, them. yeah, they just realize after they oh. come out of the water that it's the end of their life. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so you have to make them believe that it's just, you know, just natural food. Uh-huh. So in uh, our human society too, people do this to other people. Like uh, they always talk about these uninteresting things yeah. as if they are really, really interesting. And mm. then people believe you and then even follow you or spend money or mm. you know go to the movie theaters and watch the movie. But then the trailer was just so like, exciting and the movie is not. <laughs> I see. So let's say I watched something, uh, a video, a trailer for a movie, and I found it really interesting. So I went to the theater, yeah. I watched the movie, and I was very disappointed. In that case, you could say, nakyosso. Nakyosso, yo. Nakida is the verb that you use, and you can say, ah, nakyosso. Nakyosso. By the trailer. Trailer, nakyosso. <laughs> Aigo, nakyosso. <laughs> or, well, in this case, there's no like person like talking to you, mm-hmm. but if someone is actually talking to you, a friend of yours, like, let's go to this party. This is going to be an really party. fun yeah, and exciting. And yeah, a lot of like, really cool people are going to be there. A and lot then, of beautiful ladies are going to be there. Yeah, and you go there and you and your no friend one. are the only ones there. Only and, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're the only guys and the other nakyosso. people are women, that's not a problem. But <laughs> if you're the only... <laughs> Pe- you know, people there. That's not just that. Ah, boya. Yeah, yeah. And also, uh, one thing that I uh, have as a complaint toward many uh, newspapers in Korea. What is that? They always use this method uh, with their titles. Oh, so you mean like, for instance, uh, like newspaper online? Yeah. For instance, they put like a very attractive title. Very shocking titles. Shocking and like it really uh, sparks your uh, your interest and your yeah. curiosity. Yeah, I mean. No, like normal person wouldn't be <laughs> curious <laughs> because uh, they use words like eventually, uh-huh. 결국, 결국, finally, or they say, uh, 
알고 보니. 알고 보니. Turns out. And then, and then you click and you read the article and there's nothing in nothing. it. Nothing. <laughs> it's empty. Ah, or it's boya. like it's about some drama they're filming and like mm. the situation in that drama or, you know. So basically you use this expression, 낚였어, uh, when you were tricked mm-hmm. or uh, when... Uh, I guess you can say you got me. Yeah, yeah. You, uh, they got you me. got me. They, or got, they got, me got me with this fake title. So oftentimes these uh, uh, articles with mm. these attractive, unnecessarily uh, overly attractive titles, they are called nakshi song kisa, like fishing type of <laughs> articles. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, yeah. nakida or nakta is the original verb, right? That's right. Nakta or Nakida in the passive voice, and then we can say Nakyo yes. Sayo. So, hopefully, you won't be in this situation too much. Yeah, or, or if you stick to you know, catch the wave, you can be you can stay wise enough to of not course. be Nakida by anybody. And, and we will not Nakyo you. <laughs> <laughs> Very <nakayo>. good. <laughs> All right, we're uh, doing some Konglish here. Uh, we'll be back uh, with some, uh, some more talk, and we have another expression right after the song break, so stay tuned, everyone. This is Speed with. Tong Chung, pain, the love of heart. Yes, everyone, welcome back. That was Tong Chung, pain, and the group uh, Speed. I don't know, I like that song. Mm-hmm. I like yeah, that song. I like the rhythm. It's a nice, uh, dense song. Yeah, I don't know if I, I'm happy because it's Friday or because the song was good. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe both. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of both. Welcome back, everyone. We have Hyunwoo Sanseng Nim in the studio for uh, part two. We are now going to introduce the second expression. The first one was nakida, mm-hmm. uh, when you are tricked or when... Uh, Someone got you. Yeah, with uh, like a bait. Yeah, for instance. <laughs> the second expression is, please, Sansang Nim. And the second expression is, Kuge Odia. Kuge Odia. Kuge Odia. So uh, you have to be careful with the intonation. Kuge uh-huh. Odia. So literally, Kuge is uh, that is, and Odia is where is it? Uh-huh. So uh, if you you know ask someone 그게 어디야? 그게 it, 어디야? it can sound like where is it where is that place yeah where is that place yeah. or where where is that thing 그게 mm-hmm. 어디야? uh yeah so that is the literal translation but of course we're not talking no. about the literal translation yeah we use this uh in other situations when uh, you have to be thankful and when the result is actually still good yeah. maybe not the best but still good enough that's right? right, that's right. And uh, I think out of all the hundreds of expressions that we've covered so far, mm. this is probably the most far-fetched in terms of the actual probably, t- yeah. translation. <laughs> probably. Yeah, so uh, people say this very often. And uh, like you said, when someone is very unhappy about like a result or something mm. that they got. You so can let's say, say you got a, a B plus. Uh, from a test. A test. And then like. And you, I have an F. Uh huh. And then if I say, uh, <laughs> I, oh, only, yeah. I only got B plus. I'm so ha- uh, unhappy. Yeah. And then you can say, and then I arrive. Yeah, 그게 어디야? 그게 어디야? An F ya F. Yeah. So you're saying 그게 <laughs> 어디야? <laughs> and it doesn't mean where is it. It means, you know, you you should know your place. Yeah, no, maybe we should do it the other way. You do the F. I got B plus. Okay. Because <laughs> no, yeah, I'm joking. I know how it feels. <laughs> I know how it feels. So uh, other examples can be possible too. For example, you know, you like you talk to a friend, and this per- person has a car, mm-hmm. uh, but it's a small car. It's not such a good car, yeah. but uh, yeah, it, it's a car still. And then this person is complaining about this car, how old it is, mm. how slow it runs. And then you can say, "Ah, 그게 어디야? I only have a bike. 그게 어디야? <laughs> 나는 차 없는데. Exactly. I don't have a car. You should be thankful. Yeah, so better than nothing. Mm-hmm. So if you emphasize uh, 어디 too much, 그게 어디야? Mm. You know, it would be the actual question of where is it. Where? But if yeah. you emphasize 그게 어디야? The First syllable, 그게 yeah. 어디야, that can be, hey, know your place. Do you know where you are? You are above me. You are in a better position than mm. I am in. And uh, you should be thankful or even better than nothing. Yeah. And and uh, Hyunwoo was also mentioning during the break that sometimes you also add, uh, in front of this expression, you add some other words like, yeah, 그게 어디야. Yeah, 그게 어디야. Hey, wake up. It's or, better than nothing. Or maybe, 그래도 그게 어디야. Yes, 그래도 그게 어디야. 
Nevertheless, yeah. 그게 어디야? Nevertheless, it's better than many other people's. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I mean, don't be don't be uh, too demanding, mm. and sometimes uh, 욕심이 많아서 yeah, yeah. Uh, you're a bit sad or unhappy about the results. 욕심 is is. Um, Yeah. What, how would you say? Like I've, greed. <laughs> yeah. I guess you're you're yeah, too demanding. Yes. Basically. So for example, if you are a fan of a K pop singer and then your friend is also a fan of that same band, mm -hmm. and then this friend is complaining how this band is living like in a different city. And yeah. then you can say, ah, 그게 어디야? I'm living in a different country. country. <laughs> so, 그게 어디야? Yeah, it would be a perfect situation where we can use it. That's right. It yeah. is indeed very true. Yeah, 그게 어디야? 그게... So let's be thankful. Yeah, let's yeah. be thankful. I, I actually talked about happiness in the opening here today. And mm -hmm. happiness is uh, in the little things around you. So yeah. make sure you search for it. That's right. And of course, since we are nice um, you know, people, mm -hmm. polite people, We also know, need to know uh, how to say this in Chungdemar. The oh, so language. how do you say it then? 그게 어디예요? Ah, so okay. Not <laughs> not such a big difference. 그게 어디야 is a uh, 반말, so to your friends or mm. people you're close with. Yeah. And then if you're talking to someone you need to show respect to, yeah. then 그게 어디예요? 그게 어디예요? You can do. You can say this to uh, talk about your own situations. Like, I was expecting an A plus, but I got an A minus. Mm. 하지만 그게 어디예요? It's better than 그게 어디예요? You know, lower grades. Yeah. <laughs> You're trying to uh, lift up your mood. Yeah. <laughs> 아, 그게 어디야? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Thank you very much uh, for this expression once again. We'll show it to you. We have two little guys. Actually, one is really sad and the other guy is uh, telling uh, the sad person to cheer up. Yeah. <laughs> so that's uh, Hyunwoo's little drawing with this expression. Check 그게 out the 어디야? drawing that I did within yeah. three seconds on uh, Catch the Waves Facebook. <laughs> that's right. We have a photo of ourselves so you can also look that up and leave us your comments we'll be back in the second hour with some more talk we will listen to your audio clips and uh, we will also um, yes we will also answer some of your questions That's right. let's play some music this is December with Fire we'll be back That's right, everyone. We are catching the wave, the Korean wave. You are. I'm watching you I catch am. the wave. <laughs> we're surfing. We're surfing on the Korean wave. And we are here to share this wave. And we're here to take you with us. And we have Hyunwoo San Sing-nim. We are um, going to listen to some of your audio clips. If you have any questions, this is the right time. I know many of you are learning Korean right now, maybe on your own, maybe with some textbooks, maybe even in school. Uh, so if you have any questions for Hyunwoo, Please send them to us on Facebook, Catch the Wave, or else on arirangradio.com. Click on Catch the Wave and then use the message board. And we will be answering your questions in just a few minutes. We also ask you to send us your audio clips. And I think we received uh, several messages. Why don't we go into the first one? We have Mariam, um, Mariam from Tunisia. She says, I'm 20 years old and I'm studying Korean. This is my opinion about Korean language. Wow. Let's... Hear it. I do key oil. Yes. What did she say? Hanu? Hangu go temi jiman him do oil. Oreo oil. Oreo oil. Yeah. <laughs> Korean is uh, fun but difficult. Yeah. Korean is fun but difficult. Is it the only recording that she sent? Or? No, I think we have another one as well. Why don't we listen to uh, it? Okay. Uh, I think uh, we only have this one. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, 한국어 재미있지만 어려워요. I think anybody, everybody can say this about um, 한국어. Any language. Any actually. language too. When it's not your mother tongue, it's hard to learn. Yeah. I mean, if it's the opposite, 쉽지만 재미없어요. It's a sad <laughs> thing. If it's an easy language, but it's no fun learning it, why? You know, how would you continue learning it? You know, continue learning so, it. So, so it's better to have it this way. Yeah. Better to find it. Fun to learn, you yeah. know, even if it's a little difficult sometimes. And I would tend to think that at least in the early stages, uh, Korean is not too difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like reading, learning the alphabet, that's like the easy part. Mm -hmm. And then as you uh, go up in the levels, yeah, yeah. It, it becomes a bit more complex. That's right. I think that's where some languages can vary. Yeah. And in the case of Korean, mm. it's easier in the beginning. So uh, if you like kind of stick to the intermediate level, yeah. 
um, you, you might not really regret it, you know, regret um, having done so because mm-hmm. um, although it might get harder, but uh, you are still a little comfortable, you mm-hmm. know, speaking in Korean and you will have friends that can help you like us. Yeah, so of course. So please keep it up and... Yep. Yeah, I we hope will, yeah. we will send you our energy. Yes, and, fighting uh, and and the present too. Yes, and, <laughs> and the present too. Because if you're selected, indeed, uh, we send you some presents. Uh, why don't we listen to it one one more time? Hmm, Good pronunciation. Miriam, thank you very much uh, for your message. And uh, just a little reminder, when you send us your audio clips, make sure the sound quality is good enough. So you don't have to put the volume very high, just normal and uh, a regular distance from uh, maybe the microphone. Yeah, maybe like 20 centimeters yeah. or so. You don't have to shout. It's okay. We can um, regulate the volume here. So don't worry. But thank you very much, Miriam. We have another message here by Beza. Beza from... Uh, Istanbul, Turkey, a beautiful place. Hello, Hyunwoo and Adrian. My name is Beza from Istanbul, Turkey. I'm 14 years old, and I've been studying Korean with Talk to Me in Korean for about five months. Uh-huh. I really enjoy learning Korean with uh, TTMIK and Catch the Wave. I like Korean dramas. I use them to learn Korean. I hope you'll enjoy my recording. Hyunwoo, uh, it's very hard to pronounce your name. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Hyunu. Hyunu. Yeah. I've been called like really weird things. Like Yanu? Yanu would be nice. Uh, Keanu? Keanu? Because of Keanu Reeves. <laughs> I see. And also like because my son, uh, last name is Sun. Uh-huh. Some people called me Soon. Soon? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, Hyunu. Anyway, yeah. uh, oh, I forgot to say that my two-year-old sister has a message too. Please listen to her recording first. Uh, and the name of her recording is Saranghaeyo. <laughs> the other one is mine <laughs> fighting all right well thank you very much uh, beza why don't we listen to uh, your audio clips annyeonghaseyo je iremun beza yeyo jeonun godeun gakseung yeyo yeolne sal yeyo istanbul e sarayo jeonun hanguk kurigo hanguko joaheyo hanguko drama joaheyo kotbo da namja gol hom motaneun namja non neke panhaesso Talk to me in Korean, Kriko, and catch the way Jamie is so. Hono Sansang name, Ajisarang Heyo, Hono Sansang name, and Managa Shipoyo. Wow. wow. You know what? I can really see that she's been studying with Talk To Me in Korean because really? she's using a lot of the grammar points that we've oh. introduced. In, so good. Uh, yeah, in level one and maybe the early uh, lessons of level two. Yeah, yeah. she's been uh, practicing with your website, TalkToMeInKorean.com, for about five months. And I guess it's, uh, it's, uh, paying, uh, it's paying out. Yeah, it's a nice testimony. Like, so yeah. uh, <laughs> if you are good in, job. in doubt, <laughs> if you study yeah. with Talk To Me In Korean for five months, you can become like her. It's and a, she's it's doing like a, a great job. We it's also, like a commercial that we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> and we also asked you to use this expression, 좋아해요, right? 좋아해요. 모모를 좋아해요. Yeah, so uh, we... Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we asked our listeners yeah. to send in recordings of themselves talking about mm. things they like. And yeah, she uh, gave us a yeah. perfect demonstration of that. She likes Korean dramas, Kotboda Namja, but also Tejangum. And I also like the fact that she pronounces uh, the names of uh, the K-pop groups uh, with the Korean accent. Yes. No, it's not Miss A, it's Miss A. Shiny, <laughs> shiny. <laughs> I thought that was very cute and very nice. Good job. You're on the right track. And hopefully you'll continue to learn uh, with the website, talktomeinkorean.com. Yeah. Why don't we uh, also listen to um, the little uh, clip by her yeah. sister. I'm curious. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so, uh, oh, that's really cute. This is s- a two-year-old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A two-year-old saying this. little girl. Wow. That's really cute. Thank you very much. Very touching, too. Can we listen to it once again? Okay. Wow. Yeah, that's really cute. I really hope this girl uh, grows up and remembers that she sent this recording to I us. I know, right? Yes, because she remembers. by the time she reaches our age, we will be like 50. Uh. <laughs> 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 and maybe she'll become uh, she'll become fluent in Korean. Who knows? That's a good start. Yes, yes. And it's a good word to learn. If you don't know this word or this expression, you should learn it as well. 사랑해요 means... I love you. 
I love you. 사랑해요. It's a very good and early start. That's right. Sounds good. Thank you very much, uh, Beza and also Mariam, for uh, your uh, voice messages. Uh, we will send you some presents, so please send us your uh, address. arirangradio.com slash catch the wave. Use the message board. And uh, listeners, you can do the same. So if you have a little voice message uh, you would like to send us, make sure uh, you record your voices with a good quality. And then uh, the email address is catchkoreanwave at gmail.com. Catchkoreanwave at gmail.com. You can use your smartphones. You can use your computers, right? That's right. It's so easy these days. So, yeah, don't feel shy. <laughs> no, don't. Don't be shy. You can also be with some friends if you want. We'll play some music. We'll be back for part four of K-Talk with Hyunwoo. We will also answer some of your questions. So keep uh, keep them coming in. This is Chea with The Ghost of Wind. 바람의 유령. Harame Yuryong, the ghost of wind that was Cheguge Idol Chea. Welcome back, everyone. The show continues. Catch the wave. TGIF. We have Hyunu Sunseng Nim in the studio. 안녕하세요. And we will now uh, be answering some of your questions. Now, feel free to send us your curiosities anytime, actually, uh, 24 7, all throughout the week. Uh, if you have questions for Hyunu Sunseng Nim, we will collect them and then we will ask him every week on Friday. Is that okay, Sunseng Nim? Yes, I'm here for that. <laughs> <laughs> Very That's good. What I do. <laughs> and if you want to see how we look, I know some people uh, maybe are on the other side of the world and uh, maybe you don't know uh, how we look because you only listen to the radio. You can look us up on Facebook, for instance. We just posted a photo of ourselves with uh, these whiteboards with the expressions we shared uh, with you in the first hour. So you can also leave us your comments over there. That's right. Thank you very much. Uh, why don't we start with the first question? question here. We had uh, someone asking us about, you know, Hyung, Oppa, Onni, That's right. Luna. Uh, and this person actually watched, I think, uh, an episode of a film or mm. a drama. And there's a scene where this girl was calling another person Hyung. Yeah. But usually girls have to use Onni or Oppa, mm -hmm. but they don't use the word Hyung because it's usually guys who use it. That's right. But before I answer this question, I would like to ask you, Adrian, yeah. a question. This sure. is a more general question than... You're scaring me here. It's related to Korea. Uh -oh. Do you think uh, guys and girls can be friends? Uh, you know what? We actually talked about that uh, before yeah. on Men and Women, mm -hmm. uh, our Saturday segment. Mm -hmm. um, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. I mean, some people think so. Some people don't think so. Yeah. I, I think so uh, in many cases. Yeah. But uh, in Korea, a lot of people, especially older people, they think uh, guys and girls can't be friends. They can be mm -hmm. acquaintances. Mm -hmm. They can know each mm -hmm. other, but not close friends without something uh, more. Yeah, something terrible happening. <laughs> okay. So, uh, not, I mean, falling in love is not terrible. But no, no. if you already have someone that you'd love, yeah, yeah. you might lose a little bit of friends, you know? Sure. But anyway, uh, so that for that reason, when you enter college and you have many other, you know, people from other people of the other gender. Yeah. And then you kind of get closer to this person, mm -hmm. and you're a girl, yeah. and you only think of this person as a sambe. So you're not attracted. You're not attracted mm. to this person. You don't want to be. A, you don't plan to be attracted okay. to this person, and you want this person to think of you as just a, like a, just like a boy, just a tongseng, but just nothing a, more. Yeah, not a girl, a boy. Okay, but just a person. In that case, <laughs> if you want, you can call this oppa an actual oppa young. Hyung. So that this person would feel like you're a boy okay. and no, don't have any other emotions mm. towards you. So in that case, either because you are actually boyish or because you want this other person to you know, feel that you're a boy, Okay, some people do this. Okay, but it's it's not like widespread, and usually people just stick to you know the regular uh, regular cases where yeah. you use nuna and oppa yeah. uh, if you're... Um, yeah. In in my entire life, I think I've met three people who, who did that. <laughs> <laughs> three girls who called other boys Hyung. Really? Yeah. So they, they called you Hyung? Not me. Uh, no. They wanted to know me better, but uh, the other guys. <laughs> Just okay. kidding. Just I, kidding. Hyunwoo is very attractive. <laughs> uh, Moving we had on. A, we had another question here. It's actually a, a very interesting question. You know how we count, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 
Yeah. Right? But so when we count the months, mm-hmm. so it's 1월, 1월, 2월, 3월, 4월, 5월, 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 and then it's 6월. It's not 6월. Yes. Because it's supposed to be 6. Mm-hmm. Because 6 means 6. That's right. So it's supposed to be 6월, but Koreans always say 6월. 6월. And then when you continue, you have 7월, 8월, 9월, and number and then 10. 10. Wall, but yeah. it's not she wall. Koreans say she wall. That's right. So why is that? Why do we say you wall and she wall? There is no particular reason other than for the ease of pronunciation. Mm. So uh, yeah, you wall. It's a hard little, to pronounce. Yeah, too much effort. Yu-gwal. Yeah, she wall. She wall. You wall. It sounds a little rough. Yeah. So uh, people wanted to kind of soften those uh, words. Uh-huh. So. You are, she are, because even if you say you are, there's no other uh, month that you can be confused with. Mm. So it's just, you know, the, yeah, only, yeah, the okay. only month that starts with you is June. Uh-huh. So you are and she are. Yeah. And over time, that became the, the norm. Yeah. And maybe we could use this uh, occasion to mention that here in Korea, we have two counting systems. We have Hana, Tur, Set, Net, Taso, like that. The native numbers yeah. and the uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the Sino-Korean, That's the Chinese right. system. And we use that system to um, name the months. Exactly. We don't say Hana Wall. Yes. <laughs> two Wall. Yeah. Like that. Uh, okay, sounds good. Thank you very much uh, for your uh, insight. Uh, now, we had another uh, question here. Yes. Uh, on Twitter, I actually got a question for Talk To Me in Korean, and I wanted to mention this. Um, mm-hmm. A lot of people ask this this same question, like, all at the same time. So maybe because of a, of a show they watched um, yesterday or something. Okay. Um, many new idol groups, when they uh, bow or greet uh, to their 선배님, 선배님. <laughs> 선배님. Uh, older um, co-workers, they often say this phrase, what is this phrase? So that was the question, and the translation is, please take good care of me. Ah, 잘 부탁드립니다. That's right. 잘, 잘 부탁드립니다. <laughs> 잘 부탁드립니다. <laughs> you are and they the, say it to everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in this case, you are a 선배 of mine in Arirang, so I should be doing this. <laughs> <laughs> 잘 부탁드립니다. <laughs> But, uh, yes, yeah, 잘 they, 부탁드립니다. Yeah, 잘 means well, 부탁 means a favor mm. to, to ask, and 드립니다 is I'm giving you, so please, I... Uh, ask a favor of you yes yeah please take good care of me so when when else do you use this expression when you are like um registering your child into a school mm-hmm. you can maybe say this to your child's teacher oh okay or, yeah, yeah yeah so uh, so you're 부탁드립니다. asking the person to take care of your yeah. child well yeah it's Like, translated into so many ways, like, please be nice to me, mm. please, let's, you know, be good friends. Yeah. So there's no real, like, literal direct translation. Yeah. But the trick is, I mean, the tricky part is, it's such a common expression mm. that uh, people say it really fast. Yeah. 잘 부탁드립니다. So, yeah, they don't say 잘 부탁드립니다. No, no. 잘 부탁드립니다. 잘 부탁드립니다. 잘 부탁드립니다. 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 They blur it out, so... Okay, very good. So you can use it also if you are uh, joining a team of Koreans. You can come in and they'll be very surprised if yeah. you uh, start with 안녕하세요, 잘 부탁드립니다. If you say those two things, you will, like, be... Gain points. Yeah, gain... Yeah. And they'll be nice <laughs> to you for points. sure. For sure. <laughs> exactly. Sounds good. Uh, Hyunwoo, we're going to have to say goodbye, but thank you very much for coming in today. Thank you for having me once again. And I hope our listeners were happy to hear your voice and uh, happy to uh, learn some expressions. Uh, we will be back next week, so if you have any comments, any questions, curiosities, any feedback for Hyunwoo and for myself, please send us your messages on Facebook and also on arirangradio.com. 선생님, 감사합니다. 감사합니다. Okay, we'll play some music. This is requested by Dina Kasab, Kim Suhyun with Dream. Dreaming.